right, what's going on? Quick video here. So I saw an article about military bases, okay? Many of them in the South, i.e. Fort Lee, uh, Pickett, uh, what was that, Pickett Airfield, okay? Well, actually, I'm sorry, Fort, Fort Pickett, okay? Uh, what else out there? Um, Bragg in North Carolina, Fort Lee and Pickett are in Virginia, Benning, Georgia, Hood out there in Colleen, Texas. All right, there's a couple of others. They're finally changing the name, okay, to another base. Why? Because those bases were named after Confederate generals, okay, which basically represents anti-patriotism. Now, there was talk about that back in 2000 when I was in, I was stationed at Fort Bliss at the time. And we had a uh, uh, meeting about that, okay? One of those sensitivity meetings about the bases being named after Confederate generals and so forth, okay? And at the time, I believe those bases had to be put together and they weren't really thinking about what it represents, pretty much represented white supremacy at the time. Okay, so I guess now they're finally getting getting around to that. Okay, uh, changing it to different names. Uh, from what I understand, like uh, maybe Indian tribes or other uh, modern day like commanders and generals. Okay, so that was a good thing. I think that back then, a lot of people were probably afraid to speak up because of repercussions. Right, but I remember being a part of that discussion group, and I never really thought of things to be that way. You know what I'm saying? I mean, everybody was just trying to achieve a mission. All right, achieve a mission as a team. So that's good that the uh, Department of the Army is finally getting around to to do that. Okay, um, so let's see what those names are going to be. What say of you, all right, veterans and people that are service members that listen to this podcast?